Professor Singh, welcome to IPADE. It's very nice to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Thank you very much. So let me now switch to the underlying subject of this International Week here at IPADE. So basically for this year, we have chosen the following subject. Doing business in a digital age, strategy, marketing, marketing operations. So what would be the, your main message for our business community about the impact of the digital age on operations? To me, I'm, I'm a very, I have been in this business long enough time. Mm -hmm. No one thing changes the entire world of business. Mm -hmm. So I know that consultants and sometimes even businesses will try to create a hyper environment that this changes everything. Not it's really. Not true. Yes, how we market, how we reach, it provides another channel, how we communicate, mm -hmm. what kind of information we have to take better decision. So it is an acceleration, in my opinion, of the things that we already knew, but one, we can deliver it better. So that's one aspect. The other aspect is the role of analytics. Mm -hmm. The fact that we had for decades developed tools that we world could not care because either the information on which to work was not there or computing power was not there. Both of that problem has been solved. Deming famously said, in God we trust, everybody else should bring data. <laughs> he had no clue how much data will be coming. The challenge now is for us, mm -hmm. for schools, to create a structure to that data, to allow better decision making. So the world has moved in another direction, which is they are believer in data. Data alone doesn't do anything. I will give you example. Sleuth, National Security in US, records so much of the telephone conversation, have so much of video data from Afghanistan and Iraq and others. It is humanly not possible to make sense out of this. Only when disaster happens, they go back and review some of the things and try to put the link together. In a country where foreign language literacy is decreasing, to have this kind of recording of telephonic conversation mm -hmm. tells you the disconnect between the decision making and what we can do with the data and the amount of data. And so a challenge for us is to come up with how to extract better information, how to extract pattern and then how to work on it to make better decision. Right. There the old knowledge is the only thing on which we are relying. My first master in Carnegie Mellon was on in robotics and automation. Mm -hmm. So artificial intelligence, machine vision and all those things we learned. At that time, basically computers were not powerful enough, enough to do anything. What you see in machine learning today, the first 80%, 90% is actually the knowledge that has existed, accumulated for the last four or five decades to apply it right. to the information that is coming. What I want people to realize is not everything is changing. The good management principle, the instinct mm -hmm. is still there. There is a role for that art. The science of data allows us to make that art not tentative, mm -hmm. not based upon faith, not based upon gut but to verify it before we go and implement it. However, in a sense, this overload of information and data make that companies should strive to be more agile, more dynamic and more critical in terms of, of selection of information that is used to make decisions. What is the moment, I mean, how do you start the process of making your company more agile and more uh, streamlined in that big sea of information. Take Amazon for an example. It is, it is a good, good example. At the onset, it was basically an internet as a platform mm -hmm. for placing the order. Once that platform was there, their thrust was how to create a distribution model, mm -hmm. centralized warehouses, 
fetching the things and packing and shipping it as efficiently as possible. This is old world. Gradually, Amazon, they learn that as people are buying, their buying pattern has information. So it built upon that part of model. Next came people's opinion of the things that other people were relying. This was a model for transfer of trust. Usually our memory allows us to trust somebody. Here, now we could trust strangers who had read similar book that I read on their opinion to decide what else to read. This journey, and you can see each layer that Amazon adds, is a continuous journey. It is not going to stop. And so the place to start is always where you are and how to bring information for better decision making. It will be futile to think that tomorrow we can be GE or we can be Amazon. And that's not the right way to go. The right way to go is begin where we are, how we can bring that information, how we can learn something more about our customer, our delivery, so that we can get you to the next level. And finally, let me ask you about your area of expertise, because I have seen that you, you study fascinating and very specific aspects of operational excellence. So on the one hand, uh, you study the role of speed in competition, and at the same time, you study a very interesting nexus between operations, decisions, and risks. Could you elaborate on that? Sure. Front, so, so even our department is called decision, risk, and operations. First, speed. One impact of the data, or even without the digital age, has been that over a period of time, acceleration is going on in every aspect. So CNN today, or real-time news, has killed broadcast news, which used to give one hour summary of the day. Nobody waits to watch this, right? Nobody waits to read New York Times until it comes tomorrow. We go online and play. We have reached to a level where we don't want to wait for the music to be out the instant the album is released, we can download it. We can, I download my Economist Thursday, five o'clock. Yeah. I don't wait until Saturday. Now, what is the impact of all of this? This acceleration has changed the planning cycle. This acceleration has changed how long product lives. This acceleration has changed when Samsung phone starts to explode mm. and what is a reasonable window within which the response has to be. And so the managers who are not used to it, they pay a heavy price. Mm -hmm. Samsung did find out what was wrong. It was too late, right? Research in motion did come up with a better tele cell phone mm -hmm. a year too late, but that yeah. time it was unforgivable. And so how to plan things in this rapid acceleration age is a new challenge is new opportunity also. So my research more and more has gone. Take Zara for example, is a classic example. All our students know yep. today, right? It's not an innovative company. It is a fast copycat. And as a result, it is obliterating. It is destroying the fashion industry. The original designers, even before they bring the fashion to market, Zara's copy design mm -hmm. come and conquer the market. This is the role of speed. Uncertainty has been crux of my research from the graduate school days. How manager take account of this risk and how to mitigate it, how to eliminate it, how to circumvent it. So coming back to Zara, the one thing that I want audience to understand is we academics have understood for quite some time that information and inventory is substitutable. In other words, by investing in better in information, by having less forecast error, we don't need to hold more safety stock hour, right? This equation has been around for some time. What is new here is now there is a relationship between speed and inventory, speed and information. If we can accelerate, we don't need that much forecasting. We don't need that much inventory. 
So that relationship between speed and uncertainty has become better. One way to reduce uncertainty is speeding up. Because longer the planning cycle, longer the development cycle, more the need for forecast, greater the forecast error, more the safety stock needed. So these three things are part of the same connection. Many times we don't see it. So if you think about a triangle, speed, information and inventory, each company lies somewhere on this triangle depending upon where it is, at what speed it is operating. And where to go on the speed node, whether to go on the more inventory node, depends upon your structure, your capability right. and what you are good at. Professor Singh, I'm afraid we must leave it here, but thank you thank very you much indeed. Much.